Hello everyone, it's great to see you again. So my name's Mike and we've got Fred with us here today. Hello. We've got Tim. Hi, how you doing? And we've got Raoul. Hello, welcome back. So this is our fourth Jamaican reggae lesson. If you haven't yet watched videos number one, two and three, you need to watch those before you watch this one because you won't know what to do. We're not going to recap all these different rhythms and these different parts we've been learning because we're going to crack straight on with learning some harder parts today. And we're going to look first of all at Raoul because Raoul taught us how to play the bongos but Raoul there's more we can do with the bongos isn't there? There, it, well, the bongos is endless. You can do so much, but we are talking reggae, so we're going to keep it that way. Now we're going to introduce um, a different style. You must watch the previous video to see how did we start uh, the, the reggae. But this time we're going to introduce the fingers and the thumb. Okay, fingers and thumb with a, a little bouncing. Going to play. Going to. Going to so I go one going to play, one going to play. Shall we do it slowly? Going to play, going to play. That's it. Going to play. So it's the two fingers and the thumb and the finger of the the strong hand. Going to play uh, and going to play what? Reggae. So go going to play reggae. Going to play reggae. Go, I tell you. What, we're going to do that four times, but on the fourth time, we're going to stop. Instead of reggae, we're going to stop. Okay, let's go. One, going to play reggae. Two, going to play reggae. Three, going to play reggae. Four, going to stop. Shall we do it one more time? One, two, three, four, one. Going to play reggae. Two, going to play reggae. Three, reggae. Four, going to stop. Fantastic. Now, as uh, Mike said, it can do some more than these and we're going to because you're very clever and you're very good in um, rhythm making especially the reggae now we're going to say I am going to play reggae I am going to play okay and we're going to start with the weak hand with the fingers again finger and the thumb that's going to be I am I am and the strong hand is going to be on the uh, two three and reggae so I am going to I am going, and then I am going to play a reggae. I am going to play a reggae. Okay, sorry. Reggae is a little slow. I'm going to bring it down a bit. One, two, three, four. I am going to play a reggae. I am going to play a reggae. I am going to play. I get it? Huh? Easy. Oh, that sounded good. Very well, let's do it four times. And the fourth time is I am going to stop. Okay, so first time, one, two, three, four. I am gonna play a reggae two. I'm gonna play a reggae three. I'm gonna play a reggae four. I'm gonna stop. Let's do it one more time. One, two, three, go. I am gonna play a reggae two. I'm gonna play a reggae three. I'm gonna play a reggae four. I'm gonna stop. Fantastic! You're brilliant. Go on, Mike. Wow. I'll tell you what, Raoul. <laughs> You made that look very easy, but I think that's going to take a lot of practice and a lot of people to try to get that right. Brilliant. So look, we can see Tim's already to show us some harder stuff on the cajon there. So we can just see Tim's hands. So Tim, show us then. What are you going to show us on this cajon? Hi. Yeah. So. Um, Oh, we've lost Tim a second. Can we hear you again, Tim? Do you want to, um, I'm very sorry about that. that there we that are. We okay, so yeah, now the cajon part we know goes Jamaica and drop, push and drop, Jamaica and drop, push and drop. Now, underneath that, actually, your hands are going all the time. And we're, what we're going to do is we're going to have the notes being played all the time, that jumpy, 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 jumpy rhythm. But you only play the notes strongly where you have the words Jamaica and drop, push and drop. So that means you have these light notes like this in between. And we call those ghost notes because they're kind of there, but they're not there. So this is going all the time. It goes jumpy, 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 jumpy. But then we make it really light and then we play our rhythm. It goes like this. Jamaica and drop, push and drop, Jamaica and drop. Push and drop, Jamaica and drop, push and drop, Jamaica and drop, push and drop. 
and that means you get this light sound all the way through which kind of just means it's not empty in the spaces Okay, so try that. You'll find it confusing at first, but have a go. Ah, that's brilliant, Tim. Thank you so much. Yes, so it is very tricky to do that. But I tell you what, remember we said when we first introduced the cajon part that we said it was really like the drum kit player. So those little ghost notes who's playing are always the kind of things you might be doing on the hi-hat, maybe, just to want a similar to keep that going. Um, that would sound great. Tell you what, now we've learned some harder parts, shall we put it all together? Shall we see what it sounds like with our songs? So you can have a go at trying to do the harder bongo part, maybe the harder cajon part as well, or you can make you still play the, the cowbell or the tambourine or the um, also the maraca part as well. Shall we give it a go? Everyone all together. One, two, or you know what to do. Go! love this song now there's a couple of parts that we can learn as well because you know we found out there's a few things that um, in reggae music they have all the drums but they have lots of other instruments as well now maybe one thing maybe you might have one of these already is a ukulele now they, you know, maybe a ukulele might not be used in in reggae uh, exactly but we can certainly kind of use it in reggae if we want to and there's only two chords we need to learn we need to learn the chord of C um, which you can see I've got a green sticker on my ukulele there on the third fret on that high A string and that makes my chord a C. Great! And then I've got my two blue stickers there and there to make a chord of F. So that's all we need. We need a chord of C and a chord of F. So what we can do if I share this screen here then you will see on the screen there I've put the little diagrams of where the chords are. So it's a chord of C I've been dreaming, then F, dreaming, or back to say, I'm still believing that the sun is here to stay. So that could be your ukulele part. Now you could see the way I was strumming it there was that jumpy, 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 all the way through. I've been dreaming. The sun is here to stay. So that's that's the kind of rhythm that we might be playing on a ukulele. But we don't just have ukuleles that we could use. Something that would definitely be in a uh, in a, a reggae band would be the guitar. So Fred, if you could just unmute yourself so we can hear you. Um, great. So Fred, how does the guitar part go? So we've got our C and our F in exactly the same way. So go and if you don't know those chords, go and look up um, those chords C and F. So this is our C and this is our F, but you can also play F down here as well. Um, and the, but the really important thing in reggae is your right hand or your strong hand if you're left-handed. So your right hand, which plays the kind of skank rhythm, the skank guitar rhythm that's so um, popular in reggae. So we very much like when Rao was talking about his bongo part, it goes one, reggae, two, reggae, reggae, reggae. So we're doing that with our right hand. So it'll go. If you 
Can you hear how that's doing that reggae, 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 reggae? Or you could even do reggae, stop, reggae, stop. Those two couple of different rhythms. Try a couple out. There we go, Mike. Thank you so much, Fred. Yeah, that's brilliant. So that guitar, you know, you mentioned skank guitar. So that kind of style of playing, everything's very short. There's no long sounds on the guitar player. Everything's very short and it's all kind of offbeat. In music, the proper musical word, when something's really short, really short, jumpy notes, it's called staccato, staccato. Now, conversely, the keyboard part we've been playing, that little melody I play at the beginning doesn't have any short notes in it. They're all being held on for a sort of long time and each one is smoothly moving from one to another. So whenever we play smoothly, in music we call that legato so staccato and legato are two very important musical words now when we play the keyboard part it starts on an e and then goes to an f and then a g and then a c so actually if you are a real beginner keyboard player one of the first things you learn how to do on a keyboard is put your thumb on a c and then your second finger on a d third on an e fourth on an f fifth on a g so there are your five notes that's your first hand position and you can do this tune Brilliantly, if you put your hand in that position first, make sure your thumb's on the C, but then you start with your third finger on the E, and it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll do it once more. Two, three, four. E, two, E. And move to the F, G. F, G, C. So we do that four times round as our little kind of intro before the words come in. But another thing you might get is also a harmonica. Ah, now, Tim, do you have a harmonica? I do, as it happens, yes. This is it here. I mean, everybody knows what a harmonica is, right? It's a little um, an instrument that means you can play by blowing and sucking. And the great thing is that you can play um, those notes on most toy harmonicas because harmonicas come in all kinds of different tunings to different keys but this key c is the one that most toy harmonicas are made in i've discovered so that means we're playing our song in c so it means we can play our tune on this probably on any toy harmonica that you might have at home now you can see on my harmonica there are numbers along it and this place to start is on hole number four so that's the fourth in from the left or the lowest note so make sure you have the, the lowest note on your left and then from the fourth note, that's the C because that's the, the home note for any key on any harmonica. So it starts there and we're blowing. In fact, forgive me, I've missed, I've told you wrong there because we start on, on the E, not on the C, don't we? As Mike's just been explaining. So in fact, that's hole number five. So you blow into hole number five, but then the note changes when you suck. So it goes, and I haven't moved. I've just sucked to go to a higher note. And then the next hole up, you blow. So the rhythm you play is blow, blow, suck, blow, blow. And then you have to drop down to the C. So it's. Like that. That is absolutely fantastic. You know, I've learned some things there about harmonica and how they number them. Brilliant. Good. So show what? Shall we put this all together um, to see what it sounds like? Um, because, you know, in reggae, we found that the, you have the keyboards. You definitely have that skank guitar part. The bass is really important. You have a bass guitar. You hear that play really nicely. Sometimes you have what they call horns. Horns are the trumpets and the saxophones and the trombones. You might get some of those playing as well. So can we put this all together and see what it sounds like? Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, uh, one, two, three, four. Ah 
to put all those different parts together so you can have great fun practicing those if you have some of those real instruments at home and don't forget this is not the end of the lesson because what we need is you to do the quiz that's on our website to make sure that you can learn everything and remember everything that we've taught you today because we've given you lots of musical terminology today so we will see you for our fifth Jamaican lesson which our Jamaican reggae lesson which is going to be next so thanks so much see you bye bye bye, bye. bye.